Welcome back. Welcome to back. Channel. I'm Shalom. And I'm Lise. And we are the Madi Janis. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pause for that. I knew it was coming. Anyway. <laughs> we are the Madi Janis. So. <laughs> so hi, hi, hi to all the new viewers. Thank you so much for tuning Thank in. Thank you. Um, please make sure that you subscribe and become part of the yes. family. Um, we will be sharing lots and lots and lots of our crazy stories <laughs> mistakes yes 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 uh, yeah. they, good decisions as well there have been a few yeah. good decisions well, yeah but yeah. i mean it's all in hopes to inspire good conversations around money and of course yes. the, the realities that we face around that mm. okay so yes. before we get into into uh, today's video um there's a there's a picture right at the start of this video and i'm sure you saw it but if you didn't please rewind and see it but really what it says is that when you're a child you ask for permission to do things from your parents, right? Yep. yep. So can I have chips? Can I go to my friend's house? Can mm. I do this, etc. But when you're an adult, you have to ask for permission from the bank. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Parents version two. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like when you saw that picture, we were like mm. mind blown. Yeah. It's not even like a mind blowing revelation. It's the truth. Mm. That's what it is. That's the sad reality. Yeah. yeah. Because if you want to buy a house, guess who you have to ask? <laughs> The bank. <laughs> the bank. If you want to buy a car, mm. the, bank. the bank. If you want to go on holiday, Dubai, here we come. Let's ask the bank. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's so sad because essentially what, what the, the picture is saying is that we all work for the bank. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Let that sink in. You go to your job every single day, or Monday to Friday, and then you get paid. And then you have to pay the bank. Because you've been using their money throughout the month. You use their money for your house, for your car, for your clothes, maybe for groceries, mm -hmm. maybe for education, for all sorts oh, of things. Yeah, yeah. So the bank is a huge em employer. employer. Very big one. <laughs> like, it's insane. <laughs> So yeah. we thought this this would be actually really important mm. to highlight because I don't think we ever think of it in that light. Mm. You know, that even the cars that we drive, essentially, I mean, we say they're ours, but mm. really they belong to the bank until the car's paid off, yes, you know, true, true. Um, and all of those other things. So anyway, I'm not going to dwell on the mm. bank story, but essentially the whole idea is that, um, I mean, this is what the Bible actually says, is that the borrower is slave to the lender. So whether you're borrowing cash from a bank, from like a clothing store, from your friend, from your parents, from whoever. If you're borrowing money, you become slave to that person. So yeah. that's your master. Yeah. You have to answer to them for everything. <laughs> you have to account for your money, where yeah. it's going, why you spent it the way you yeah. spent it, yeah. and your future plans. What are you <laughs> doing with exactly. your life? So. And if you don't pay me, if you don't honor your debt, mm -hmm. and you need to answer to your master and tell them that, ish, I can't make payments this month because of whatever reason so in that you owe them an explanation you have to tell them what is going on about your life which means you're giving away your freedom and for me that's just scary like i'm a grown i'm a grown woman now i must go and explain to someone there at the <laughs> bank that oh is you know have fallen on hard times or i can't pay this month my budget is skewed or whatever mm. and then they're still gonna add interest you know mm. and it's just horrible and i think one of the other things that are so important is that in fact it's even in in in, in that scripture is that mm. um when you give money to someone when you borrow money to someone it changes the dynamic of your relationship so this is not outside of the bank because fine we don't really have like hey bank how are you be surprised actually but we'll oh get really into that anyway. oh okay cool <laughs> so this is more especially with like friends um mm. um relatives whatever it is the minute that you borrow money from someone you're changing the dynamic of your relationship mm. and let's say you borrow money from your uh nephew for example right you've borrowed money from your nephew now he's your master <laughs> you're older than him but he's now your master so, boss. exactly <laughs> so it's so it, it's such a, a delicate delicate thing that we need to navigate around because essentially money will always change the dynamic of a relationship mm. so now what we believe is that god owns everything you know he owns literally everything all of it belongs to him yeah our cars 
our lives, our children, our money belongs to God. And I think what's so important is that we need to be good stewards because even that money that belongs to him, he's the one who actually puts it in our hands yeah. and he says, okay, I'm giving you this much or this little and I'm entrusting you with this. And if you manage it well, if you are faithful with the little, then you'll be entrusted with much. Yeah. And essentially, um, you also have the power then to make that little much because if you manage it well, if you steward it well, then it's going to grow, it's going to increase, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I think that's so awesome because yeah. the power is also in your hand. Um, and it's so, 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 so important to make sure, or at least for us, it was so important that we align our lifestyle and our habits with the word of God, with the vision that we have for our marriage and for our family. And I think so for you, it would be important as well to give this thing a lot more gravity, more than just, oh, no, I just want to get rid of my debt. Think about your long term. Think about your children. Think about your children's children. Think mm -hmm. about those things because we've never, I mean, we didn't come from like um, crazy rich legacies you know it doesn't come from that yeah. but we need to want that for our children and their children just so that they don't have to start life the way that we did that's true well yeah i wasn't <laughs> preaching I was just saying. <laughs> yeah but before we got into that part understanding and the realization of all of that we did things in a rather particular a particularly different yeah, way. Yeah. So today we're going to get into the debt that we had accumulated Eesh. before we started this journey. So how much of our freedom had we given away? Yo. Essentially. Yeah, that's scary. Yes. Now I'm starting to feel shy. <laughs> like now I feel like we're opening up <laughs> our our wardrobe and people are looking at like how dirty and untidy it is. You know, yeah. our wardrobe is very clean, guys. I'm joking. But literally now this is this mm. is yeah, yeah, this is it. The so big black pit of debt yeah <laughs> <laughs> so our biggest or one of the biggest that actually this was the biggest the car the one car the eco spot that we got yes. of, or the suv as it's <laughs> now known um we had that and started that at 230 something yeah 230 something thousand that was yeah. number one mm -hmm. number two was the other car that we have the car that we now have the Renault, yeah. yes <laughs> and we started there and we got 180 yeah 180 181 give or take mm. and then we had a loan with one of the other banks and that loan amounted to about yeah, well <laughs> that is true that was what twenty six thousand. yeah the overdraft facility with the same bank yeah it was 17,000. They were so generous, guys. They loved yeah. us so much. They gave us so yeah, much, free so money. much credit. Yeah, it's free money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then we had a credit card, two credit cards. Yeah. With another institution. Because we had two people. Yeah. 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 The one was 4.5 and, and the other was 7,000. 7, yeah. And then we had another retail store card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one was 6,000. Yeah. Yeah. So we were just a little shy of half a million yeah essentially yeah and earlier when i was saying you'd, it, you'd be interested to find out that you can sometimes have a personal relationship with these banks I just, oh <laughs> shame. i it's just remembered you had... yes <laughs> i just remembered that right now please share you know? <laughs> your relationship with the bank with the people you know have you ever been to the <laughs> bank so often that all the bank tellers know you by name you know and... even even yeah. the branch manager knows you by name and knows your other name. Like they even know that wow. my name was Hot. And I can tell you, I wasn't going there to deposit money mm. or to withdraw money. And it's not like you had like a private bank uh, situation. Oh, no. Or, no, 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 no. I was there to ask for loans every single time. <laughs> I mean, me and those people became so close that we could hang out on weekends. We could go to karaoke night together with my... And... <laughs> to spend the money that they, the bank just gave you know what <laughs> probably um actually that was the case so you can have personal relationships with your bank but but it's not advisable you don't want to have those kind of <laughs> it's, you, you don't want to go to the bank that often no, no. <laughs> unless you've got like big chankuras and you're going to like yeah, deposit, deposit all the time. then you can you know yeah, but yeah. please guys don't do that. and yeah. now the sad thing is because that was a while ago mm. 
the sad thing is now you can even apply for loans at an ATM yes. on your phone. Yeah. Like they've made it so, so much more easier. Easy. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> it's bad. Mm. It's bad. Mm. So we must actually stay away from it. Right now we don't want relationships with the bank. Yes, no. Let's just yeah, yeah, let's stay just clear. Stay because the sad thing is they don't really want what's best for us. That is true. I yes. think yeah, that's no, something. No, I, I can say no bank teller is sitting there thinking. How can we help you today? Like that other bank keeps saying. No, how no. How can we? No, they you? trying to see how they can help themselves <laughs> yes. with your money. Yeah. You know. Because how they make money is through interest. Yes. It's not like they sell something. No, they mm. sell you money. Yeah. That's so that's how make, they make. Yeah. They make it. Yeah. So, but it's difficult. Look, it is. It is difficult. difficult, and especially once you already have those cards, you already have those accounts, mm. and one of the things that we had to do actually. Was cut those cards simply because the facility is there, yeah. and when you have the card, it's so much easier to go swipe. Yeah, that's so Just true. Just go swipe. So we yeah. decided, no, nope, we can't do that. So we cut those cards so that you don't have access yeah. to the account. Yeah, and 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 now because we're in the digital age and yeah. everything is like mm. online, you can still access it. But I think it's the it's that declaration that you're making that mm. physical like when you are fed up yeah. when you are yeah. sick and tired <laughs> of being Me. broke <laughs> sick and tired <laughs> you will cut those cards mm. and i think for us it was it was actually very um powerful what we did because we cut those cards and we knew that you could probably still transact between your accounts but you know that this is your goal now mm. this this cutting of cards cements it mm. and you make sure that you do not look back i think because in fact somebody asked us this question is so do you get rid of all your your credit cards yeah. and everything like what do you do yeah you get rid of everything yeah. everything everything and we touched on this in, in the previous episode that should an emergency happen emergencies will always happen this mm. is life mm. but should it happen remember you've got an emergency fund that's going to assist you so the cutting of the cards is so 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 it powerful is. yeah if there's anything that you want to take from today cut those cards just get rid of See, them gally, cut. Yeah. yeah you gotta do it you gotta do it. and you yeah. i think you'll thank yourself um also it'll make your purse lighter yo these cards <laughs> and so basically yeah. to wrap up <laughs> you'll notice that we actually didn't mention our bond when we were listing our our debt and the reason why we didn't do that is because essentially uh a bond or your house a property is an investment so essentially it will move away from being a liability um into an asset mm. and it's an incredible asset because why it appreciates in value mm. so at no point are we going to sell our house well it's not in the plan right now yeah, well, we don't know what's gonna happen yeah. in the future but in that even when we do sell it we'll probably get money back because mm. it's an investment and it's appreciating mm. in value and so that's why we don't include it because that's something that we know we can actually get something out of yeah. whereas all the other things we get nothing out of mm. it the car it depreciates the, all the other things you actually don't get anything out of it mm. so that's why for us it's been very important yeah um to, to to make sure that the house is still there and that we continue paying so yeah so that's sort of where we are mm. and yeah please keep those questions coming please keep those engagements yeah. coming as well um we're always open for for yeah. those discussions we enjoy interacting with you guys mm -hmm. and of course our instagram handle you will see at the end of this video and yeah, yeah please um share this video subscribe like, subscribe yeah and comment and comment all right, all right. <laughs> we'll cool. see you guys in the next episode cool. cheers guys bye, bye.